Hi. I'm going to talk about um, the uh, inverse trigonometric functions, in particular the arc sine. Arc sine of x. As you know, there's six trigonometric functions, regular trigonometric functions. Each of those has an inverse. So the inverses of the regular trigonometric functions are arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent, arc cotangent, arc secant, arc cosine. Um, so today I'm just going to talk about one of these. I'm going to talk about the first one, arc sine. So what is this function? Well, let's look at sine x. So I think as you all know, sine x looks something like this. The wave with period 2 pi. So it goes through the uh, x axis multiples of pi. Um, and uh, the range is from minus 1 to 1. So um, in order to find the inverse of this function, we need to take restrict the domain to a region in which it's one to one. So what's usually done is we restrict the domain to um, the region between x equals minus pi over two and x equals pi over two. Um, so that's this region. So I'll just call in the region. So that's, that's what we're taking the inverse of. And the way we do that, the way we take the inverse of any function, is that we reflect about the line y equals x. So, I mean, we'll draw this in scale, but here's the line y equals x. So now what we do we'll want to do is reflect this um, shaded region I drew. And I'll just draw another graph. I'll erase some of this. So what we're really concentrating on here is this this region of the sine function. And um, I'm just going to draw another graph. So we take the domain of sine, which goes from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2, and make that the range of the arc sine. So this is, this is sine y and sine of x. Um, so going to be a function whose range is going from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. Um, and, and then what it looks like is just this uh, sinusoid, but reflected about the y axis. So it looks something like that. And remember, this is, um, range now is from minus 1 to 1. So that's a graph of the arc sign. Um, and it's useful to tabulate values of the function. So that's what I'm going to do next. So first I'm going to make a small table of values of sine of x. And uh, do x sine x. We'll make two columns here. And remember, we're looking at the restricted domain where x is from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2. So when x is minus pi over 2, um, sine of x is minus 1. When x is minus pi over 3, sine of x is minus square root of 3 over 2. When x is minus pi over 4, we have sine of x equals minus square root of 2 over 2. When x is minus pi over 6, we have sine of x is minus 1 half. And when x is Zero we have sine of x equals zero. And um, sine is an odd function, as you probably know. So we to get the uh, positive value, we just take the negative of the negative value. So x is pi over six. We get sine of x equals one half. 
x is higher than 4, we get sine of x equals square root of 2 over 2, x is higher than 3, we get um, square root of 3 over 2, and when x is pi over 2, we get sine of x is 1. So that's a table of values of sine of x. So now if we want to tabulate values of arc sine of x, we just uh, flip around the um, columns. So for arc sine of x, we take x arc sine. And all I'm going to do is, for the values of x, I'm going to take the values of sine x here. So x starts at minus 1. Um, so arc sine of minus 1 is minus pi over 2. Arc sine of minus 3 over, square root of 3 over 2 is minus pi over 3. Arc sine of minus square root of 2 over 2 is minus pi over 4. Arc sine of minus one half is minus pi over six. Sine of zero is zero. Um, arc sine is an odd function as well as sine, so we can just get the value sine negating. Um, so the arc sine of x That's a table of the values of arc sine, and that's uh, that's all I have to say. Thank you.